Hello there, Happy New Year and welcome to The Update. I'm Heidi Tiltens. Aussies will now sing a different version of the national anthem to reflect our long Indigenous history. The anthem no longer refers to Australia as young and free. Instead, we'll sing for we are one and free. The PM says it's a change for all Australians. How good is Australia? And our anthem should reflect that. And the changes that we have made and we have announced today, I think, achieve that goal. Olympic champion Cathy Freeman among those welcoming the change. She's tweeted, what a way to start the year. Authorities appear to be getting the upper hand on Australia's COVID cases. New South Wales recording just three cases of community transmission overnight with genomic testing able to link all of the clusters to the original outbreak on the northern beaches. While there were two new cases in Victoria, the pair linked to the Thai restaurant in Melbourne's Black Rock, they apparently went into New South Wales despite being told they were close contacts, putting a number of venues on the New South Wales south coast on notice. But there have been some headaches for Victorians trying to get tested. Some sites have been forced to temporarily shut their doors because they're at capacity, largely due to travellers returning home from New South Wales. Aussie meat products and honey will be among the goods to benefit from tariff cuts now in effect. Canada is reducing tariffs on fresh and chilled beef. It will also be easier to export sheep and goat meat to South Korea and Indonesia will apply lower fees to honey. Newly released documents show the federal government was very concerned about security ahead of the 2000 Olympics. Cabinet papers from two decades ago have been declassified. The government ramped up security, fearing a terrorist attack was being planned. Some interesting findings about online dating today. Swiss researchers have found couples who meet through dating apps are more likely to move in together than those who meet at work or in bars. Taking a look at sport now and Cricket Australia is committed to delivering the complete Big Bash schedule as state border restrictions are reinforced. Andy Murray says he's on track for the Australian Open despite pulling out of next week's ATP Tour event to reduce his risk of contracting coronavirus. And in the NFL, Miami's quarterback will miss the final round of the season after testing positive to COVID-19. In entertainment news, it's a big day for Justin Bieber, dropping his latest song and music video, Anyone, at a virtual New Year's Eve concert in LA. British hip-hop legend MF Doom has died at the age of 49. News of the mysterious masked rapper's death posted by his wife on his official page. And Harry and Meghan have closed out 2020, posting a heartfelt letter to their mums on Instagram. The Duke and Duchess sharing their letter for 2021 alongside a snap of a young Harry on the late Princess Diana's shoulders and Meghan with her mum, Doria. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast news team. But we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.